Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And before I get this video started, just a disclaimer, I am no financial expert, no stock expert. Don't go and buy or sell your stock based on anything that I say. So here we have an article from Yahoo Finance that I wanted to tie in today's video. Investors in T-Mobile have made a strong return of 121% over the past five years. And what I wanted to tie in this video is how do these investors make that same return over the next five years in the future, starting this year? And I wanted to kind of talk about that in this video as to how how T-Mobile is going to position themselves or how I think that they're better positioned to achieve this type of return, maybe even higher over the next five years. So recently I made a poll that you guys saw in a video about Verizon and the price drop. And most of you said, yes, you, you would be surprised if Verizon did drop pricing. Before that, uh, a little bit before that poll, I had made another poll. And and that one was about, you know, who's best positioned for marketing and branding, et cetera. And most of you selected T-Mobile in that poll. So that's that's what I wanted to tie into today's video. So as the networks become more comparable, which they will, right? T-Mobile is going to invest smartly. at and and Verizon are just going all out with crazy spend. But eventually, the networks will become more comparable than they've ever been. Will there still be separation? Yes, there will still be a, okay, this is the best network. This is the second best. This is the third best network. But even in that scenario, even say, let's just say, and I'm speculating, of course, let's just say over the next five years, T-Mobile ranks as the third network once again, right? Or last, if, if you will. But that third best network or last network, if, if this doesn't get going, I think is still a more competitive and comparable network than, say, T-Mobile's third network during LTE. Far more competitive. Leap bounds more competitive. That LTE network that T-Mobile presented us with was very, it was a very lopsided uh story in terms of competition. Verizon and AT&T were just that much better in, in, in that regard, right? Better better backhaul, um, more sites, better core. I mean, it was just better equipment. It was just all, all across the board. It was a struggle for, for T-Mobile. And not, not in the sense that they were deploying bad equipment. It was just they were overloading the network too quickly. They couldn't reinvest enough back into it the way that they wanted it to. The, the backup generators, that wasn't really a big story for them during LTE. So that was just that was just a, a huge negative for T-Mobile. So that LTE network was just not as comparable. And then, of course, the size of scale was also limiting T-Mobile in a big way. But over the next five years, like I said, if T-Mobile does fall back into that third place, that network even if it's ranked third, is going to be far more competitive on everything. Speed, reliability, right? More sites and, and, and scale to the back of generators. They're going to become larger. That scale is coming in 2023. I'm telling you right now, that scale is coming. T-Mobile is going to attack these rural markets. They're going to do it. And then as they scale the, the market share in those markets, the network will become just more competitive there by default. So that's where I think T-Mobile is going to excel is overall, right? Networking is, is, is just one part. And I'm starting to really realize that. Verizon, is, if there's any negative takeaway, Verizon is showing us exactly what we're what we've been uh seeing and and saying for a very long time or e even me right the network is not the issue for Verizon it's just not it you can't you can't possibly paint me a picture or show me factuals that the network is the problem 
And I'm not talking about your individual experience. I'm talking about billions of data points nationally. The, 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 the Verizon network is not the problem. It's the image. It's the branding. It's the perception. That's the problem. And Hans is not fixing that. He has not made one move that's going to lead me to say otherwise. Now, T-Mobile, that's, I think, over the next five years where their strength is. I think the brand gets better. They're cool. There's something to, to rally around. The story is, is, is great. The 5G leadership, even if that, like I said, even if that results in them falling into third place at one point, that story is going to gain them that perception. Better retail distribution, better retail strategy, you know, better, smoother transition to, di to a digital first ap approach, better customer service. You know, all of that is going to lead T-Mobile into that leadership position overall. I truly believe that. And, you know, all of the points that I just mentioned, that they're very important parts to it. It's not just a network. It's, it's, just, it's just not, it can't just be the network. It has to, everything has to be looked at in this regard. And then, and then as T-Mobile moves forward, you know, they're going to, they're going to learn more. They're going to fail at some things, but they're going to learn from it and they're going to execute and they're going to pivot. And that's one thing that T-Mobile is really good at, right? They're good at marketing. They're good at, they're good at um, pivoting, right? Recently, we saw that, how, how quickly they pivoted, right? Comcast. Race price, T-Mobile attacked immediately. Seven fifty, we'll pay you up to seven hundred and fifty dollars. Come on over to T-Mobile. They just raised price. We will give you our home internet for twenty five dollars. That's huge. That is the the quickest pivot from a marketing that I've ever seen. Verizon and AT and T, they don't do that. We didn't see AT and T come out and say, "Hey, we got this AT and T fiber across this Comcast footprint." Come on over for 25 bucks a month. We don't see that from them. That's where T-Mobile excels. They're really good at it. And that team is in tune. You know, everybody is on the same sheet of music. It's not, it's not disconnected, right? It's not that Mike Siebert wants to do this and then the other team is like, no, 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 no. We want to do this. No, they're all like, you know, hey, this is the plan. Let's execute this. You know, let's, let's go after Comcast. Let's go after Verizon and AT&T if they raise price again. They're ready. They can, they can pivot that quickly. And then, you know, for, for any growth that they experience moving forward, and, and even if they grow quicker, they're ready with customer service. They're building new call centers. John Fry is changing some stuff around, and, and you'll, you'll hear about, you guys will hear about that soon publicly. It's going to get better. Verizon's customer service, they're not ready for that for, for quick growth or bigger growth. Their customer service has gone downhill big time. And then AT&T, you know, they still have to transfer you for every little thing. That, that, that sucks. You know, T-Mobile, you call that rep, they can handle anything on that account. With AT&T, when I called, you know, oh, I got to transfer you to this department. I got to go here and just a mess. It's just a big mess. If you get a if you get a representative of T-Mobile, they handle everything, and that's just how they structured it. They took a customer first approach, customer centric approach, and I know there's still some bad apples in there too. So, so I I, I do acknowledge that. But they took a customer centric approach. They they came out with a with a great story, five G leadership. They're investing smartly into the network. The retail distribution is coming. The retail strategy is far better. Verizon wants to turn into a doctor's office. They want you to attend by appointment and close by five. And that's just a mess. And like I said, I, I'm, I'm truly confident when I say Hans is not the guy that's going to do it. He is not going to make it happen. So next five years for T-Mobile, I, I think it's nothing but great upside very uh, T-Mobile is a very low share player 
in all segments outside of the consumer's business, re uh, retail, um, not retail, um, enterprise, rural, fixed wireless access or home broadband, small business, T-Mobile is under-indexed in every, every single bit that I just mentioned. So there's nothing but upside for them, and they will compete as they've shown up re as, as they've shown us recently, and they will compete fiercely. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.